good morning everybody and welcome to maths on monday the 25th of january and um, we're going to be starting our new unit of doubling and halving so let's have a go through what our top sheet says for us this time so our vocabulary we're going to be using is groups equal groups sharing shared between grouping divided and division again we'll be thinking about making equal groups and using those equal groups, turning, making equal groups by sharing and making equal groups by grouping. We then might need to think about whether we're going to be sharing or grouping or where we can, sometimes we will link it to the bar model. And last time we looked at our multiplication facts, this time we're going to look at our division facts. So dividing by two, five and ten. But first of all, let's warm up our maths brains. I'm just going to move me to the other side of the screen so I can press the buttons over there. Press pause. Have a go. Brilliant. So let's have a look at 49. So 49 is one, two, three, four sticks of nine. Oh, four tens, I apologise, and nine ones. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's have a look at the number 30. We have got three tens and no ones. So I don't need to take any ones away, but I need to take three tens away. So just do that carefully. So taking away three tens leaves me with 19. 49 take away 30 is 19. Let's have a look at 20, add something equals 100. Well, I know that two add eight equals 10. I think that can help me. So if I change two, is, if I know two add eight is 10, then 20 add 80 will make 100. Sorry, I got my words muddled then. Okay, using our less than, greater or equal signs, which one do we need to put in the middle? So we've got one, two, three counters showing 10, so that's 30, and three counters showing one, so that equals one. So we will need to use our greater than symbol. I'll make that one bigger. Oh, uh, wrong button, there we go. Okay, and um, finally, where is the... The, what shape is below the triangle? So, the square is above the triangle, the pentagon is to the right or next to the triangle, and so we have the circle which is below the triangle. Let's make my writing a little bit smaller. So, we have circle, and you should have been practicing that on spelling frame. Okay, here we go, moving into our having and doubling. So what does this picture show us? Well, you're right, it is going, this picture's below, show us doubling. We have got two sixes, as doubling means showing us two of something. Six and six, two and two. We have two hands, we have double a clock, and we have a double socket. One socket and two sockets, two. So how do we calculate doubling? So doubling we do by double one is the same as one add one. One add one is really simple. Let's grab the number two. I'm going to grab, oh, it's very small, make it bigger. Okay, what about double two? Double two is the same as two add two. And we know two add two gives us four. So what about double three? Can you work that one out? And then have a go at double five, double seven, double ten. Press pause. Brilliant, great calculating. So we've got three add three, double three is six. We're going to need, for double five, we're going to need to do five add five, which gives us 10. What we're going to do for double seven? Yeah, that's right. We're going to do seven add seven, which gives us 14. And finally, our double 10 is going to the same as 10 add 10, which gives us our 20. Okay, so then we have got this. What do these pictures show us? You're right, they show us half in. Here, the ladybird has only got half of her spots. I have coloured in half of this shape. This red part is showing us half of the number 10. And here we've got the pizza cut in half. So how do we work out half of a number? I like to use a ladybird to start off with to help us work it out. So what is half of 10? Well, then this ladybird's going to need 10 spots. And we know that a ladybird 
has the same number of spots on each side. So I'm kind of going to put 10 spots on, making sure it is the same on both sides. Eight, nine, and 10. So we have put our 10 spots on. She, on this side, she has got half her spots. So it's five spots. So half of 10 equals five. So have a think about halving. Do you like to use some ladybirds? Or you could just draw a quick circle and pop some counters or some cheerios or some raisins into them to help you. Can you work out what half of eight is? Half of six, half of two and half of 14 is. Brilliant. So I've put my eight spots on my ladybird equally and I can see that on a half of the ladybird, we have got four spots, so half of eight is four. We've got half of six, so my ladybird has six spots, and on half of her, there are three, so half of six is three. I've then got half of two, and she's got two spots, but on half of her, there is one, so half of two is one. And finally, we have got half of 14. She's got 14 spots altogether. Half of 14 is seven. Okay, brilliant. So moving on to your activities for today. So it's sort of like done, we catch up on halving and doubling because you might have done lots of that before. So quickly here, I'm sure you could show me a picture to show me what double three looks like and half of 12 and these are the ones. I've then got some word problems here. So thinking about our word problems now last time, and I could have popped it on, we used rucksack. So rucksack. See if you can remember what that stands for. Thinking, yep, yeah, that's right. Read, understand, choose, solve, answer, and check. You might learn to use your rucksack to help you solve these word problems. I've then got a table here, and I typed this one wrong. So this is the number six. So this green column here is the number you start off with. You need to do something to it. So you need to half it on the red column and double it for the blue column. But some of the numbers are missing, as you can see. And here, I know what the double number is. So what is the number when I started with? This is the number which is half. What did I do? What number did I start with? And finally, I'm wondering if you can spot the errors that I've made in my doubling or halving. Can you draw me a picture to show if I'm right or wrong? Really looking forward to seeing your learning on Dojo later. Enjoy your maths. Mm -hmm.